Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. I'm trying to sitting between uh, Okinawa. I'm now in Haneda, back to Hawaii, and I have a long layover here. So. That is currently my situation. Not a lot of travelers here on the international side of the house because I think most of the flights have been canceled. Anyway, I might as well do a video. So today, right before I left Okinawa, I went out in town, walked around with my T7i, Canon T7i. Any EOS R camera would work with this. Hold on. I'm supposed to have my mask on, but I'm talking to you, so I want to make sure that you can hear me, and I took it off. Anyway, today I want to talk about the Nifty 50. The Nifty 50. Anyways, if you have an EOS R or E mount Canon camera, you have to get one of these. You have to. And let me show you a couple of things that I did. Mind you that I am an aspiring filmmaker, of course. Um, I am not a photographer, but check these photos out, guys. This is in manual mode, and uh, what I did was put it on 1.8 uh, and then just fussed around with the ISO. <music> so weird this camera a GoPro just turned off for some reason anyways here's the reason why you should have the nifty 50 I already talked about the negative things about it one is that it's not really a vlogging uh, you can't hold it close to you because if you do then all you're gonna see uh, is your eyes pretty much <laughs> your face it is good for you know cinematic video shoots or uh, those smooth but buttery smooth slow motions also great for taking pictures guys if you want to take a portrait with a bouquet background as well as video with a bouquet background then you should have a nifty <laughs> I have to put it back on because everybody's looking at me and I don't want to get in trouble. Anyways, if you're in Japan, have some of this green tea. Good for you, good for me. Another reason why you should have a Nifty 50 is because it has a very open aperture, very wide aperture. At 1.8, what that does is that you can shoot videos and take photos at low light situations and it will use whatever light available to make the photo work without even a flash or nothing additional, just in manual mode 
at 1.8 and then fuss around with your ISO. You can actually put your ISO in automatic and it will work. Uh, but I don't do that because what that what the camera does is, is put it in the highest ISO and then now the photo is all jacked and different so uh, at post production or when you're editing it at post it's not good to do it that way I think you'll have better uh, chance of making the picture better or saving it if you're in manual mode all the way all right for those of you aspiring youtubers and video makers I mean, I'm cheap, guys. I buy most of my things used. I take the risk. I bought this one brand new, however, because that's how cheap it is. It's very affordable, and that's the reason you should get a Nifty 50. Very affordable. Speaking of being cheap guys, I'll take that back, I'll take that back about what I said about vlogging earlier. You can actually use this for vlogging, the only thing is that you're going to have to set it up far away from you and you have to have some kind of a uh, audio recorder so that your voice is clear because you're going to be far, it's at least about 15, 10 to 15 feet, you can get about half of your body. But if you use it for vlogging, you really achieve that bokeh look for cheap, you know, if you already have an E-mounted uh, Canon camera with the you know Canons make great pictures of course uh, videos and photography uh, suck on audio obviously but if you use that if you use that uh, the 50 that's another reason why you should get a 50 if you want bokeh that nice look and the bokeh in the background then the 50 millimeter is for you holy crap guys I thought that the cop the airport police were gonna come and uh, <laughs> talk to me because he came by here looking at me came by just looking at me and then I think he was waiting for me to put my mask back on so it's back on so you can leave me alone I have an eight hour layover right now I just <laughs> have my pet kind of free because I'm in a parking lot uh, because it's been lo locked up in there for a couple hours so Fed him, gave him some water, good to go. Just gonna relax for now. Last reason why you should have a Nifty 50. I mean, most professional photographers have that range in their, in their um, lens. 50 with a 1.8 is equivalent to some professional photography or equipment, right, for cheap. I know you can't focus, you can't defocus, you can't focus in, uh, but for if you're doing landscape pictures, pictures of anything that's far away, buildings, man, this is like, it is, it is an awesome, awesome um, lens. So that's what I think you should get. Remember, this is not a tech channel but I think I need to talk about the equipment I'm using because as I evolve in video making I'm turning into a you know I'm looking for ways cheap ways to make my videos much better for you for everybody that's watching this channel so might as well talk about it in the case that I can influence some of you to do the same thing I'm doing okay Hey, that's all I have for today. I am getting home here pretty quickly. Until next time.